Okay, we're back for segment two with Tiffany Flume, CEO of Flume Cosmetics. Um, first question I have for you in this segment, Tiffany, is what general advice would you give to someone who's thinking about starting their own company? Because it's a daunting step right. to, to walk in and hand in your letter and say, I'm leaving and I'm going right. to go do it myself. My absolute first recommendation would be do it. J just do it. You know, okay. take take the leap, leap of faith. Um, you know, myself and my husband kind of took the approach that you live one time. And, you know, I didn't want to look back 20 years from now Absolutely. and say, why didn't I um, go after my dream? Why didn't I launch my makeup line? Why didn't I launch my skincare line? You know, I didn't want to regret not doing it. So you're not going to. good advice. I had a football yeah. coach in, in high school that said you got to live life with no regrets. And it's funny you say that because it was the same co conversation that my wife and I had when we decided to launch Three Rivers was, hey, you don't ever want to look back and say, shoulda, right. coulda, woulda, right. right? Why didn't I do it? And, Why didn't and regret you do that. Yep. You don't want to live it. with yep. regret. You know, you don't want to live with the idea that, that you never tried it. At the same time, I'm sure advice-wise, people need to have a solid business plan. They probably Absolutely. need to make sure that they have their support base there. Right. Um, I would say that I mean, it your husband obviously was, you know, if your yes. husband's going, no, not that you're <laughs> not going to do it, but it's going to make it a lot more difficult if, if, if your support structure is not on. It, it is a huge right? um, undertaking. And, and I think that is a, a, a misconception, some, something that people going into starting a business don't realize. So um, a definite thought out structured plan including your business plan but you know th this is going to take depending on what your business is it's going to take time to launch it's going to take time to get started and i think you need to um you know create that plan step by step all of the aspects that that need to to um but an important part in there though that i think um really needs to be said is you can have the greatest business plan in the world that doesn't mean you're still not going to have sleepless nights though absolutely where you're sitting there going well how the hell are we going to pay the bills next absolutely. next month right absolutely right right it is definitely you know you're 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 going to have your challenges um mm -hmm. you know it's having a business is an is is a roller coaster it's an emotional roller coaster but you know, if you put your heart and soul to it, put your head down, focus, um, the end result is well worth it. Awesome. What do you think are some of the qualities that you have that have allowed you to be successful? I, I you know, I, I, I did an interview and someone asked me that. I, I just, it's, it's such a difficult question a lot of times because we're not used to sort of going. Well, you know, I think, I, you know, <laughs> but what, what do you think are some of the keys to your success as well? Um, I definitely think that I am a motivated person. Okay. Um, I'm motivated to take um, my success, my experience in life, in, in my career to the next level. I think that is a, um, a, a huge quality that you have to have as an entrepreneur. You have to be motivated to go after what you love and what your passion is. Dedication, mm -hmm. you have to be dedicated, 150% dedicated to your business okay in addition to your family your business so yeah. so you know it goes back to a sort of a, bal a balance, a balance exactly yep. exactly so definitely um motivation dedication and and third i would say um passion you know mm -hmm. if you're going to you know jump into um uh, something with everything you have to be passionate about it if you're not passionate about it that's going to show so people it, know if you're fake exactly exactly right. they know if you believe in your product. and chances are if you're not passionate about what you're doing it unfortunately it probably won't be successful so yeah you know I, I think um, motivation dedication and passion you know are, are, are three three qualities um, that I would say one, one of the ways that we um, uh, Derek you, um, myself, and, and Christy, my wife, were introduced was the fact that um, you do a lot of charity work. Yes. Um, Christy and I have been committed uh, through Three Rivers um, with our Bridges program to, to give back to the community. And actually, as a result of um, uh, some of the different work that we've done, um, we found out about you and Derek and, and the Flume Foundation. Yes. So. Just briefly, give us a, a sort of an overview of what it is, because I, I, just for the folks out there, I mean, I know what right, it's all right. about, but I think it's it's really something that's special, and I think um, 
um, really motivating for a lot of your employees as, as well as a lot of your clients. Right. The Flume Foundation um, is our official foundation that, you know, it was very important to me to launch the company with a foundation already in place and, um, you know, to be able to give back to the community. Um, I always have the the philosophy, if I'm going to be successful, I, I want other people to benefit as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So the Flume Foundation, we have a mission of um, helping chronic and or terminally ill children mm -hmm. um, by giving them hope and well-being through our gifts. And our gifts can be um, anything from their wish. You know, their, um, they have a wish to go to Disney World. Um, we just granted a wish uh, to a 16-year-old girl with a brain tumor who had a wish um, to have her sweet 16th birthday party at a country club, yeah, drive wonderful. to the country club in a limo, and, um, you know, I'm happy to say that that went off with a huge, you know, as that a huge success. That is great. Success. That's awesome. So it's almost like your own, your own Make a Wish Foundation for for yeah on a, on, a, on, a, on a, obviously on a, a much smaller yeah. scale. But you know, we really that's a that's an aspect of our company yeah. that that we're looking to grow. That's awesome. I think that's uh, wonderful and and really a, a role model for um, a lot of organizations. You know that that it is about doing good and, yeah. and, and putting positive karma out there. All right. Um, quick question. One of the areas, uh, that I would say must be challenging in the type of business that you're doing, where you're doing direct selling and party planning is, I mean, you're certainly the face of, 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 of flume cosmetics, but at the same time you have all of these representatives right. out there doing the parties and you know for a lo from a local standpoint they're really the face of flume so how do you how do you keep consistency as far as making sure they know what they're doing and, and what have you as far as training and, and knowledge right the way that um, my company is set up we are a direct selling party plan company so we have consultants that sell our product that have their own home business um, and they do a lot of home events which we call the beauty event so you're right our our, our beauty artist or our consultant they are my number one customer they are you know the face of our brand they are carrying our brand you know out there um, Absolutely. in our region, you know, across the United States. So it is very important for them to, um, carry on the mission of our, our brand. And we do that through, um, training, training, training. So we have all different sorts of training when they sign on to become a consultant. Um, you know, we have a lot of online training that we provide. We have a okay. lot of live training that we provide one or two events every month that is a live, you know, training where they can come and, um, learn about the products, you know, they need to feel confident in what they're doing, what they're selling. They mm -hmm. need to know the benefits of the products, why they are amazing products. Um, confidence is going to. So my guess is you're putting a lot of time, effort and, and money into providing this for your. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I, I do have one um, vital aspect of my company um, who I have hired. She is our field developer. So her main job is to help these ladies become successful and help to carry our brand. Awesome. Awesome. All right. As we wrap up this segment, I just want to make sure, um, actually it's funny. You were talking about videos and training. One of the interesting places you can go and actually, um, learn directly from Tiffany is if you go to e how mm -hmm. and type in, uh, Tiffany, uh, flume, I believe there's 14 videos where Tiffany actually goes through and teaches you all different aspects of how to put on makeup, clean your makeup brush. I was watching some of them just to get some tips for my my weekends. No, I'm like, yeah, my wife's my my wife's cringing. I don't wear makeup, okay, on the weekends, only on Mondays. Um, but anyway, uh, definitely check those out on e how. Uh, make sure you check out um, uh, flume.com backslash Tiffany if you want to go directly to Tiffany's site and communicate with her. And uh, come on back for our third segment with Tiffany Flume, CEO of Flume Cosmetics. Because you can't print your own money without going to the slammer. Three Rivers Wealth Management Group in Pittsburgh for Pittsburghers. TRWMG.com. That's TRWMG.com.